Electronics and Radar Development Establishment is a laboratory of the Defense Research and Development Organization Located in C.V. Raman Nagar, Bangalore its primary function is research and development of radars and related technologies, LRDE is sometimes misabbreviated as ERDE. To distinguish between electrical and electronic, the latter is abbreviated with the first letter of its Latin root lectra. The same approach is used with for the DLRL. The LRDE is India's premier radar design and development establishment and is deeply involved in Indian radar efforts. Its primary production partners include Bharat Electronics Limited and various private firms like Mistral in Bangalore, Astra Micro in Hyderabad and Data Patterns in Chennai. Topic: <laughs> LRDE radars. The DRDO's initial projects included short-range 2D systems Indra 1, but it now manufactures high-power 3D systems, airborne surveillance and fire control radars as well. The publicly known projects include Indra series of 2D radars meant for Army and Air Force use. This was the first high-power radar developed by the DRDO, with the Indra I radar for the Indian Army, followed by Indra Pulse Compression PC version for the Indian Air Force, also known as the Indra II, which is a low-level radar to search and track low-flying cruise missiles, helicopters and aircraft. These are basically 2D radars which provide range, and azimuth information, and are meant to be used as gap fillers. The Indra 2 PC has pulse compression providing improved range resolution. The series are used both by the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. Rajendra Fire Control Radar for the Akash SAM. The Rajendra is a high power, passive electronically scanned array radar, PESA, with the ability able to guide up to 12 Akash SAMs against aircraft flying at low to medium altitudes. The Rajendra has a detection range of 80 km with 18 km height coverage against small fighter-sized targets and is able to track 64 targets, engaging four simultaneously, with up to three missiles per target. The Rajendra features a digital high-speed signal processing system with adaptive moving target indicator, coherent signal processing, FFTs, and variable pulse repetition frequency. The entire PESA antenna array can swivel 360 degrees on a rotating platform. This allows the radar antenna to be rapidly repositioned, and even conduct all-round surveillance. Central Acquisition Radar, a state-of-the-art planar array, S-band radar operating on the stacked beam principle. With a range of 180 km against fighter-sized targets, it can track while scanned 200 of them. Its systems are integrated on high mobility, locally built Tatra trucks for the Army and Air Force, however it is meant to be used by all three services. Initially developed for the long-running Akash SAM system, seven were ordered by the Indian Air Force for their radar modernization program, and two of another variant were ordered by the Indian Navy for their P-28 corvettes. The car has been a significant success for radar development in India, with its state-of-the-art signal processing hardware. BFSR Senior, a 2D short-range battlefield surveillance radar, meant to be man-portable. Designed and developed by LRDE, the project was a systematic example of concurrent engineering, with the production agency involved through the design and development stage. This enabled the design to be brought into production quickly. Long-range tracking radar, the LRTR A 3D AESA was developed with assistance from ELTA of Israel, and is similar to ELTA's Greenpine long-range active array radar. The DRDO developed the signal processing and software for tracking high-speed ballistic missile targets as well as introduced more ruggedization. The radar uses mostly Indian designed and manufactured components such as its critical high power, L band transmit receive modules, plus the other enabling technologies necessary for active phased array radars. 
The LRTR can track 200 targets and had a range of above 600 km and can detect intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The LRTR would be amongst the key elements of the Indian ABM system. 2D Low-Level Lightweight Radar Birani, for the Army. The LLLR is a 2D radar with a range of 40 km against a 2 m 2 target, intended as a gap filler to plug detection gaps versus low-level aircraft in an integrated air defense ground network. The LLLR makes use of Indra-2 technology, namely a similar antenna array, but has roughly half the range and is much smaller and a far more portable unit. The LLLR can track while scan 100 targets and provide details about their speed, azimuth and range to the operator. The LLLR makes use of the BFSR senior experience and many of the subsystem providers are the same. Multiple LLLRs can be networked together. The LLLR is meant to detect low-level intruders, and will alert Army Air Defense Fire Control Units to cue their weapon systems. Bell Weapon Locating Radar, a 3D radar developed from the Rajendra Fire Control Radar for the Akash system, this radar uses a passive electronically scanned array to detect multiple targets for fire correction and weapon location. The system has been developed and demonstrated to the Army and orders have been placed apart from the above. The DRDO has also several other radar systems currently under development or in trials. The systems on which publicly available information is available include, Active Phased Array Radar, Utam AESA is an indigenously developed active electronically scanned array AESA fire control radar. It is being developed for the LCA MK2 and MK1 presumably MK1s will be upgraded with the system and also other aircraft upgrades such as the IAF's Jaguars and MiG-29 ks Hardware has already been realized for this radar which has a range of 100 km against small fighter-sized targets and rooftop testing is underway. Though the Utam AESA currently weighs 120 kg which is some 40 kg more than the current MMR, there will be no problem in integrating it with the LCA MK2 which can easily carry a radar of this weight. It is a 3D radar for fighters, a MMR follow-on. The APAR project aims to field a fully-fledged operational AESA fire control radar for the expected Mark II version of the light combat aircraft. This will be the second airborne AESA program after the AEW and C project and intends to transfer the success DRDO has achieved in the ground-based radar segment to airborne systems. The overall airborne APAR program aims to prevent this technology gap from developing, with a broad-based program to bring DRDO up to par with international developers in airborne systems, both fire control and surveillance. Airborne warning and control, ready for delivery as of 2015. A new radar based on active electronically scanned array technology. The aim of the project is to develop in-house capability for high-power AEW and C systems, with the system covering the development of a S-band AESA array. The aircraft will also have data links to link fighters plus communicate with the IAFC-3I infrastructure, as well as a local SATCOM satellite communication system, along with other onboard ESM and COMINT systems. Topic. Products Rajendra Radar Central Acquisition Radar 3D, car, 3D Radar for Akash Missile Indra Series Bell Battlefield Surveillance Radar short range, Bell Weapon Locating Radar <laughs>